Let's be honest, coding user interfaces with AI is like lottery. Sometimes it works, but most of the times it leads to inconsistent UIs with unresolvable styling issues that are hard to debug and fix. Today, I am going to show you how you can solve this problem using ShadC and MCP server. ShadC and MCP server gives chat based models access to entire libraries that can be used to generate components that fully works. In this video, we are going to see how to install ShadC and MCP server, how to generate requirements for any application using ChatGPT, how to convert that requirements into actionable tasks and how to use copilot instructions. And then we will wipe code a simple application using this exact method and see how it works. We are going to head over to and UI MCP server GitHub page. As you can see, you can use NPM to install this MCP server. There are some usage limits, but if you use your GitHub token, you can get higher usage limit. So I'm going to copy this package name. I will go to VS code. You can click Control Shift P and click on add an MCP server and you can select an NPM package and provide the package name and hit enter. You can click on allow and I want to use it for react. You can select react. And if you want to use for higher limits, you can paste your GitHub access token. So I'm going to paste my GitHub access token here. Enter. So you can hit enter again. And I want to install it via in global workspace. So now you can see it installed this MCP server in our application and it is running. So if I want to test if it is running, I will go to the agent. I can say this provide code for chat CN button component and hit enter. As you can see, it ran chat CN MCP server and gave me the full code for button component. So if you got this, that means MCP server is working for you. After installing MCP server, we need to define custom rules to tell Copilot how to use this MCP server. As you can see, I have defined multiple rules like always use install component to add new chat CN components, styling related things. Also, I have added tool specific instructions. I can provide you link to these instructions. You can copy paste it in your project. Next, we are going to generate requirements using chat GPT. So recently in my company, Postman got blocked. So I want to build my own REST client. See if I can wipe code and build my own REST client using this method. So I have written high level requirements of all the things I want in my REST client. So I have mentioned the technology stack as well. So now I will copy this requirements. So I have asked Gemini to give the requirement and it gave me the full requirements of this application. So I'm going to copy this and paste it in requirements.md file. So here is my requirement.md file that Gemini has generated. So this looks good to me. So I'll go ahead with this. I have created a simple chat CN based react application. You can also create a similar application using the documentation provided by chat CN. Next, we are going to generate task.md file so that our LLM can work on one task at a time. So the prompt I gave is based on project objective and features, break this task into detailed step-by-step -step implementation plan, list the specific chat CN UI components you think we'll need in each step. I asked it to create task.md file and write all the tasks in that file. As you can see, it listed down all the tasks it needs to build in order to complete this app. So it identified all the chat CN components as well as steps to work on those tasks. This is fantastic. So I'm going to go to agent again. I will refer to this task file and ask it to build this application. As you can see, it starts building the application step by step. I'm not going to bore you guys. So let's meet after it builds the application. Okay, looks like it is completed now. Let's see this application. Okay. This looks beautiful to be honest. So it, we have a collections, we have request, we have response. All right. So let's create a new collection and see if it works. So have my collection. Okay. This collection looks good. Let's test this get request. So I'm going to hit the JSON placeholder request. I will hit send. Okay. Looks like it is working fine. So we can see the data is coming and we can see the headers, cookies. I mean, this is amazing. So I can save this as a collection, get post and I can save. You can see the request got saved here. So let's test the post request. So I can go here. I can define the JSON body. I can click on format JSON. This is also working. I can send the request. You can see the request got created here. I can save this request as well. I can save create post. So this is like amazing. This is great. So I can save this. I got this save request, get request. 
Using this method, you can build any application without worrying about styling issues and inconsistent UIs. Please let me know in the comments below what would you like to build using this method. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video.